Hey, 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 Marianne here, the Cratchity Clogger. Thanks for joining me today. Um, I would like to first um, say that um, how thankful and grateful I am for all of you who have subscribed over the past couple of years. And, and I wanna just thank you uh, for sticking with me. <laughs> Um, and coming by and checking out what I, what I have to say. Because, you know, I kind of were like, who cares what I have to say? <laughs> but I'm so totally excited today. I got two happy mails. Um, but before I get to that, this is a shawl. It was made by Mama Swift. That's Trisha. Um, I don't remember that. I, I think I won it. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I just, I love it. I had on this yellow t-shirt and I thought that shawl would go pretty with that. Okay. So anyway, to the happy mail, I know what this one is. Okay. So this was not like, a, well, it was a surprise when I was made aware of it. Um, backstory as I open, I'll try. Um, last in 2021, um, I was fortunate enough to uh, be able to meet several Yarny sisters in Sarasota, Florida. The Crafty Floridian, Billy, arranged a trip for, oh, how many? 22 of us? 20 of us? Something like that. But um, there were some people who w weren't able to go. And... Um, if you remember Sharon from Sharon's Crochet Corner, um, may she rest in peace, she was not able to go. Um, I know how much she desperately really wanted to go though. So somebody, I don't know who, had a wonderful, I can't remember who. One of you guys will know, I'm sure, had a wonderful idea to because we, just about every one of us had a dammit doll from Billy, right? The crafty Floridian. She makes the cutest dammit dolls. Okay, so just about all of us at least had one of those. And if not, we had another that we could share with someone. But um, what we did was the, the dammit dolls that we had from Dory. And I remember it was Jean, Jeannie. Oh, what's her channel name? Oh, it escapes me. Anyway, she made faces for those who couldn't go, and we got the faces, and we sewed them on the face of the Dammit doll, and that was our travel partner. And my travel partner, well, I had two travel partners. I had um, our sweet sis, my sweet sissy T, Teresa Patton, and I also had Sharon. So um, it was really cool to travel with them. And um, what <laughs> after Sharon's passing, um, I know her husband, I, I think he probably found this. I had sent the Dammit doll back to her um, as a little souvenir of a trip that she wasn't able to go on. But you know what I mean. She, yeah. But uh, he, he, he sent it to Cindy, who is Freeze Baby Fiber Frolics. And I know he sent it to Cindy because Cindy collects dolls. Baby doll. So anyway, so that's what this is. So this is, and Cindy was kind enough to say, to ask who had Sharon as a Dammit doll travel partner. And so she was kind enough to send Sharon to me. <laughs> Sharon's Dammit doll. <laughs> it was so neat to have, if you haven't seen uh, the videos from our trip, several um, people are podcasters who went, and they all put videos up. I need to fix Sharon's hair. <laughs> but there's that Sharon. Oh, wait, there's more stuff in here. Oh, Cindy. Oh, and no, let's see. Oh, thank you. Yeah, she just said exactly what I told you. Okay. Yes, it was. It's and a Florida postcard. Wait. <laughs> Florida's alligators up close and personal. Yeah. Thank you, Cindy. Um. Yeah. And look, a little coin purse from Florida. Anything else in there? 
I didn't know about this. How cool. Thank you, Cindy. She knows I like what's in here. Oh, how cute. Oh, Cindy, did you know these were in here? They're stitch markers or little charms. How cute. Or it could be stitch markers for knitting needles. It's a, a little porcupine. Can you see? And a little, um, that's a little bell. And a porcupine. Very cute. And here is a seal. How cute are they? Thank you, Cindy. And Sharon's with me. <laughs> and I'm going to put another picture up. I wasn't the only one that got to hug on Sharon while we were there. Here's a picture. <laughs> oh, but thank you, Cindy. Thank you so much. Because this is a wonderful memory um, to have. And I bet it was a beautiful memory for, t for you too, Cindy, when you opened it up, Sharon. <laughs> I'm going to have to fix your hair or find a stylist who can. I think I can. <laughs> okay, crazy me. All right, I got another happy meal too. Okay, let me put that down there. Okay, I'm going to put these back in here so I don't lose them. Thank you, Cindy. All right, and I got another happy meal. This is coming from Miss C's Cottage. Miss C. Oh, hmm. What can it be? I'm excited to find out. Ah, scissors. Ooh, what is it? Oh, it's beads. I see beads. <laughs> and a card. And a little something else in here. What's in here? Oh, a stitch marker. Looky. Oh, how cute. Oh, a little bunny. A little bunny. How cute is that? Boy, that light makes it glare too much. It's a little bunny profile. How cute is that? And a card. A yarny card. Oh, can I use these? <laughs> Let's see if we can use these. <laughs> Woo, look at that. Beads, oval wooden beads. I like those. Oh, there's more of those. Wow. Oh, and here's, here's these. Yes, I've seen these. Yes, and there's a pretty like off-white and a tan color. Yes, I've seen these. I bet you these, you know what? I bet these would work because the hole is large enough as the actual beads for the abacus part of the row counter. Um, if you didn't know, oh look, and here's black and whites. Looky there. Yes. Oh, thank you so very much. Thank you, Miss C. Yes, I can use them. Oh my, so if you didn't already know, I have an Etsy shop, uh, Miss C. Oopsie. Thank you so much because this is a wonderful segue. <laughs> I'm excited. Thank you. Hey, if I don't have, I don't have anything in my mind yet how I can use these, but I'm the oval ones, but I'm thinking. You, yeah, I need to open, think out of the box, you know, more. Yes, more and more I'm experimenting with different types of beads as the abacus bead for the row counter. I do not have one right next to me. I wish I did. But if you'll go to my Etsy shop, it's the same, the Crotchety Clogger. It's linked down below. Um, you can find the row counters that I'm talking about, the abacus bead row counters. But yes, let's see. Thank you. I'm going to... Uh, play with these because I think these will really, when I first saw these, especially these, I thought they'd just be nice and decorative, something I could use along with the charm. But to tell you the truth, these may actually be uh, good for the abacus part of the counter, actually. Thank 
you. This is great. Thank you. <laughs> it makes me now, now I want to go play. <laughs> So I'm gonna go. <laughs> See you later, guys. Thank you so much, Cindy, and thank you, Missy. Bye.